Welcome back everyone and happy Thursday morning. I just wanted to start off with this sunrise photo over Billings. It's a beautiful start to the day. It's a little cloudier around the capital city this morning, but other folks waking up to a nice sunrise. Temperatures though, pretty chilly, noticeably much chillier than earlier this week. A couple of spots, especially in eastern Montana, are below freezing right now, just in the upper 20s, but it is a chillier start than yesterday. Helena starting out at 37 degrees right now and Great Falls is at 34, so not terribly cold, but a little chillier than it has been the last few days. Now, noticeably drier, though, on the radar here. If we zoom in around Great Falls, there has been a little bit of mixed rain and snow, depending on the elevation, but it has been a lot quieter. Although we do have another chance of some more moisture moving through for the end of today and through the end of this week, it's not going to be quite as bad as some other places across the country. Now, we are keeping an eye on the flooding as that is continuing through the rest of flood season here. There's a flood advisory still in effect for Mar County, specifically around Ringling, where there has been a little bit of small stream flooding. That is until later on today, but typically what happens with the flood advisories is they assess it every couple of days and extend it if necessary. Now, I mentioned that we're waking up to much calmer conditions than yesterday. Other folks across the country, extremely different story. So in the Dakotas all the way through Kansas, there's this huge winter storm moving through this April blizzard. This area in red here, that's actually an area under a blizzard warning. There's whole lots of other watches and warnings, winter storm warnings, winter weather advisories, wind advisories, everything across the map here. So we're getting a little bit calmer weather compared to the Midwest. Now you can see that storm continues continuing to push off to our east while we experience relatively calm conditions that is going to be moving north and east and away from us. Although we do still have some chances of precipitation through today and tomorrow, you'll see tomorrow kind of a spotty shower type of day. It's not going to be anywhere near yesterday or those other folks in other parts of the country. So things will be clearing up late Friday into Saturday. We there will be a little bit of mountain snow on Saturday, but and a little bit of a chance in the lower elevations. But for the most part, that's going to stay in the mountains for Saturday, Sunday into the beginning of next week. Things kind of take a turn for the worse again. But we are going to get breaks here and there. And today you can see the rest of today looking just like spotty showers moving through a little bit of rain and snow similar to yesterday. But yesterday was certainly the worst of it. Things are really calming down today and into tomorrow as well. Just that persistent kind of cloud cover kind of dreariness for the end of the week here, but not anything really affecting commutes or really causing too many problems for the end of the week here. Check out the seven day forecast. You can see those chances of precipitation way, way lower than yesterday. It's not going to be anything like yesterday. I want to really make that clear. It's not going to be quite as bad. The weekend looking not too bad. Saturday, there is that chance of mountain snow, but that's really going to predominantly stay along the continental divide in the higher elevations. Although there is that chance of precipitation in the lower elevations. Now moving into the beginning of next week, things kind of uh, getting wet again, but Tuesday looking nice so far. So there are things to look forward to. Just kind of on and off showers here. Don't put the boots away just yet. Just be prepared. Yes. Always good to know. Thanks, Katie.